Well, first of all, Orlando played a great game. I, th I thought they dominated us for 95% of the game. Um, but uh, I thought in the fourth quarter we, we locked up. We started to play some defense and, and uh, really did a good job defensively. Obviously, D'Lo was huge, you know, with the big shots. Uh, but uh, um, we didn't play a great game. And it's a credit to our team that we, we uh, pulled it out anyway. Mentally, what does it say about your team for the second straight game to be down and again coming off that emotional high? to make the place to win it. What does it say? I keep using the same word, resilient, resilient group, resilient uh, uh, team, and, and uh, uh, they really showed it tonight. This was, this is a, I knew it was going to be a tough game after the big win uh, against Houston. Uh, they're, they're an excellent team, Orlando, and, and uh, uh, we're, just, we're just really resilient tonight. How emotional is that locker room after 21-point comeback? Oh, man, I, you know, between Houston and, and tonight, you know, they, they, we just, uh, uh, you know, they were ecstatic because I, I, I think they felt like they didn't play a great game and, and, and uh, figured out how to, how to get a win when it wasn't, wasn't evident at all. What did it mean to have a fourth quarter like this from both Spencer and D'Lo together, you know, see them finish with that kind of... Uh, yeah. And I didn't feel like it was your turn, my turn. I, I thought it was like they were just sharing the, you know, D'Lo would run to the corner and Spencer would bring it up. They were really, you know, that multiple ball handler thing that we talked about. I think it was like the, the uh, uh, <laughs> utopia in that sense, Greg. Uh, they really, really shared the duties uh, kind of equally. It was beautiful to watch. And then even though Vucevic was effective, uh, Jarrett blocked one of his uh, shots and then changed another layup that he missed at the end. Huge block, a huge block on Augustine, too, and D'Lo got beat at the top of one second on the shot clock. J.A. comes up. I think then we might be talking about the same thing, but uh, you know, Jared Allen's been uh, he's been playing great basketball. He's he's, he's our rim protector. Uh, uh, but um, yeah, I'll give Damari credit on that last play. Uh, you know, we, we were in a zone. We got beat in a zone, and Damari came up and, you know, got a, got a contest on the floater. Good job by Damari. Coach, D'Angelo Russell had 40 points tonight. You had five players in double figures. Two questions. One, how do you get these guys to play for you so hard? And two, is D'Angelo Russell an all-star? Oof, those are great questions. <laughs> they play hard. We play hard because we have a great group of guys. A great, they have great character. Uh, uh, they have great spirit. Uh, that's kind of been our hallmarks, I think, since Sean and I, you know, kind of came to Brooklyn. It's like, man, one thing we're going to, you know, make sure that the fans and, and everybody in the NBA knows we're going to play hard. So now we got the playing hard part down, and now we're we're playing together, and we're playing smarter. D'Angelo, what can I say? Like, this last month and a half, he's been, you know, out of his mind. Uh, he's just playing great basketball. Uh, you know, we needed every one of those 40 tonight, that's for sure. But he's he's playing great. You got those case, playing with Spencer on the court. I mean, obviously, they both had big games separately. But, I mean, for the two of them to be on the court together at the same time and playing well, how big is that for you guys going forward? I think it <coughs> excuse me, conserves energy, too, right? It's not D'Angelo with the ball 90, you know, 95% of the time. That can wear you down. The fact that they can, they can you know, share ball handling duties, I, I, I think it saves energy. Uh, uh, and even when Shabazz, I think we played Shabazz, those three guys together, too. Now they're, they're kind of alternating, taking the ball up the court and who's running it. And uh, they've really, like, Brian has embraced that role. It's not like, hey, you know, I'm the I'm the I'm the guard, you know point guard here. I need it all the time. It's a, it's really a, a nice thing to see. What has it been like watching the evolution? You know, early in the season, the New Orleans game that was an uh, unassisted error and an out of bounds play led to a New Orleans bucket. There were other plays and during the eight game losing streak yeah. where uh, mistakes were made, and then now to see these guys embracing the moment. What's it been like watching that transition? Confidence. It's beautiful to watch a, a group that struggled in, in certain situations now grow and be confident. There's no you know, there's no uh, doubt when, you know, when we're in a, a window huddle now. They know what they have to do. They know what they have to execute. Uh, and that's also continuity, guys being together for, for a long time. And, uh, you know, like I said, that eight-game losing streak, man, we learned a lot about ourselves, and it really helped us, helped us get better. You talked about wanting more. Do you think that this three, next three home game stretch is a real chance to build on this and, and try to start getting some kind of cushion in the playoffs? Yeah, well, it's up to us. How much more do we want? <laughs> I think... I think it's there for the taking. I, you know, I, like I said, I don't want to get ahead of ourselves, and I want to stay humble. But I, I think we know uh, where we are right now. And, and uh, uh, tonight was, you know, that was a big, you know, a big statement because uh, uh, to say, hey, we, this is a team that we're competing with, obviously, uh, uh, for a spot, and uh, uh, it was a big, big win for that reason.
Coach, well, you, you've been on a, on a roll at home, obviously, but with this these last two wins, you're now 500 on the road. What, what does that mean? That means a lot. Like we're able, we have the maturity and the and the uh, wherewithal to, to win on the. It's so hard winning on the road in this league uh, for so many reasons. But uh, we don't we don't seem to be uh, overcome by the moment. And and uh, you know, for us to be down 20 tonight and and on the road, and, you know, good crowd, good team. It's it's a it's an excellent win.